Hey there, welcome to part two of Straw Bale Building 2.0. In part one, you've seen me build this wall right here using a brand new technique with wire mesh, dry straw and cob. The wall was somewhat bulgy on the inside, so I've done some more experimenting with this technique and I ended up with an extremely thin cob wall. How on earth is that possible? It's quite simple. Just follow me back to the beginning. I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to remove the wire mesh and straw. Let's see what happens. I'm going to cut away anything that sticks out. I have removed quite a bit of straw, that means the wall becomes much thinner. It will be less insulated, because the straw will keep the cold out in winter. So I guess it's a choice you have to make uh, for the outhouse. This seems like a good idea. So let's cover that with cob and see what it looks like. Well, I have to admit this works just perfectly. So I'm going to apply this to the rest of the wall as well. <coughs> I have to admit that these stumps are kind of hard to work on. That's a bit of a bummer. But besides that, it looks really nice. And it is really thin. Unbelievable. Whew. Man, smells like success to me. While the inside dries, you can see a lot of cracks appearing. I think it looks quite nice actually. If you don't really like these cracks, grab a piece of cloth, use the same plaster you've used before, grab some, and just fill up the cracks, that's all. How about that? <laughs> and then you're going from this to this. But if this is still too bumpy for you, just wait for it to dry and wipe it down with a wet cloth. And then it becomes an ultra thin, smooth cob wall. Congratulations, you've just experimented using an experimental technique called Straw Bill Building 2.0. I will do some more experimenting in part 3 on this wall right here. Catch you later, thanks for watching.